Chelsea handed double fitness boost as James and Hudson Odoi returned to training ahead of Brentford clash. Chelsea have been handed a double boost ahead of their Premier League clash against Brentford in the Premier League as Callum Hudson Odoi and Rhys James have returned to training. The pair were unavailable last time out against Middlesbrough, but are set to be available for Saturday's clash. They have now been pictured back in Chelsea training ahead of this weekend's clash against Thomas Franks Brentford. James was initially called up for England but withdrew from the squad to face Switzerland and Ivory Coast during the international break due to injury. When asked about the defender's injury previously, Tuchel admitted, I would always call Reese up if I was head coach of England. He was not match ready yesterday, let's see what happens tomorrow. He comes from nine weeks of injury. We will see if he is able to do full team training. If he can't train it makes no sense that he will go. He did not return to training, therefore was unavailable for England but has now returned to first team training at Cobham. The pair have now returned to training and will hope to be involved with the squad ahead of the match against Brentford on Saturday. Timo Werner, very interested, in return to Germany amid links to Borussia Dortmund. Chelsea attacker Timo Werner is believed to be, very interested, in a return to the German top flight amid recent links to Borussia Dortmund, according to reports. The Blues man joined the West London outfit from RB Leipzig in the summer of 2020, with the 26-year-old impressing in the Bundesliga before his move to the Premier League. However he has been unable to replicate such form in English football, and he could leave the club at the end of the season. According to 90 Minutes, Werner is very interested in making a return to the Bundesliga in the summer transfer window. The German international has only made eight starts in the Premier League this season, with just the one goal and assist to his name. He is set to push for an exit from the world and European champions come the end of the campaign, which would therefore spell the end of his time at Chelsea. Dortmund are believed to have the striker as one of the main targets for the summer transfer window alongside Anthony Marshall, who is currently on loan at Sevilla from Manchester United. A move back to the German top flight could be beneficial to Werner as he scored 95 goals and assisted 40 times for Leipzig. His move to the Blues has seen him rack up less numbers, with just the 38 goals and assists in 80 games for Chelsea. Werner has also been linked with a transfer to Barcelona in La Liga, with the German looking likely to leave West London. Chelsea captain Cesar Azpilicueta wants to join Xavi's Barcelona project. Cesar Azpilicueta wants to depart Chelsea to join Xavi Hernandez's Barcelona project, according to reports in Spain. The Blues captain's current deal expires at the end of the season, although there are reports suggesting there is a clause that could see him extend. According to sources in Spain, via Barca Center, Azpilicueta really wants to join Barcelona to be part of Xavi's project. However, recent reports have stated that Aspilicueta's one-year contract extension option at Chelsea has been activated after he met the appearances threshold this season. However, it appears that he wants to secure a move to Barcelona at the end of the season rather than continue with Chelsea. Xavi has also asked the club to make an effort to sign the Spaniard as he believes his versatility and experience can help the Catalan side. If Chelsea have extended his deal, Barcelona could still sign Aspilicueta if they are willing to put up a fee to get their man. Aspilicueta has recently spoken on the players' focus on football despite the situation surrounding Chelsea, with the world and European champions currently up for sale. We are living in moments of uncertainty at Chelsea, that is the reality. The uncertainty isn't great, but what we players have to do is work. We are entering a decisive phase of the season and the situation is out of our hands. Furthermore, whilst on international duty with Spain, Aspilicueta refused to speak about his future, saying, it's not the right place and the right moment to discuss my future. Chelsea planning Juventus Paolo Dybala transfer after takeover is complete. Chelsea are plotting a move for Juventus star Paolo Dybala when his contract expires at the end of the season, looking to seal a deal after their takeover is complete. The sale of Chelsea is set to be complete by the end of April seeing the club return to business as usual when Roman Abramovich is no longer associated with the Blues. As per 90 minutes, Thomas Tuchel's side are planning to make an approach for Dibola, who will be available on a free transfer when his Juventus contract expires in June. The report states that contact has been made with Dibola's representatives through intermediaries, and Chelsea hope to open talks with the forward once the ownership situation has been resolved.
Dybala's season at Juventus, which is looking likely to be his final, has been hampered by injuries but he has managed to score 13 goals and register 6 assists in all competitions, an impressive feat. At 28 years of age, Tuchel could see the Argentinian as a more experienced option in attack, having given youngsters Christian Pulisic, Kai Havertz and Mason Mount a run of games in attack in recent weeks. However, with the uncertain circumstances surrounding Chelsea at the moment, all transfer activity will be done once a takeover is complete. England boss Gareth Southgate backs Conor Gallagher to succeed if handed Chelsea opportunity. Speaking to the press during the international break, via the Evening Standard, Southgate has backed Gallagher to succeed wherever he is next season as it appears that he will be part of Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea side. So far this season the midfielder has scored 8 goals and registered 3 assists in 25 matches in the Premier League. He has become one of the standout midfielders in England with Chelsea keeping a close eye on his progress as he could make the step up to the first team next season. Speaking on Gallagher's potential of playing for Chelsea, Southgate praised the midfielder. In the end we have to pick and react off what we see at club level and Connor's experiences at Charlton, Swansea, West Brom and Crystal Palace have been brilliant for him, he said. So if he goes somewhere else next season or stays at Chelsea, I'm sure he'll keep developing. He's got a fabulous mindset, which is the key. He's a player that will maximise his potential because of his mentality. The England boss concluded by backing Gallagher to succeed wherever he is playing his football next season as the Englishman will be keen to make the World Cup squad for his country. He looks like one of those who, whatever hurdles are in front of him, he's going to break them down. I'd be very optimistic about how he would respond to any decision that is made. Napoli appreciate Chelsea striker Armando Broja after Southampton success. Serie A side Napoli appreciate Chelsea striker Armando Broja very much after his successful loan spell at Southampton, according to reports in Italy. The 20-year-old has caught the attention of several Premier League clubs and now it appears that Europe's finest are looking at him. Broja has netted six Premier League goals and contributed one assist for the Saints so far this season, catching the eye. As per Alfredo Padulla, Napoli appreciate the forward and are interested in signing him at the end of the season. It is thought it would be unlikely that Chelsea let Broja leave as Thomas Tuchel is keen to look at the Albanian in pre-season. Luis Enrique is the latest person in football to praise the forward as following Spain's clash with Albania. He said, Broja is very strong. If you look at him at Southampton he causes problems for the best central defenders in the world. Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund emerged as the latest clubs to show their interest in the Chelsea striker, whilst Arsenal were also interested in the youngster. However, Ralph Hazenhuttle has previously confirmed that talks were underway between Chelsea and Southampton over the Albanian. He said, then it's also about Chelsea and what they want. There are a lot of talks to be had but Martin Semmons is on this and Broja should concentrate on his game. Despite the interest Chelsea are in no rush to decide Broja's future in London and he could be handed a chance to impress Tuchel and earn his spot in the Blues attack. That is on Chelsea News today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.